Today, we're very excited that we are welcoming a new and extremely distinguished colleague to George Washington, one who will join our faculty this coming April. Dr. Fareed Murad is a world-renowned pioneer in biochemistry. Dr. Murad brings to George Washington University deep experience in academic medicine, research, industry, and entrepreneurship. And in 1998, he received the Nobel Prize in Medicine for his discovery of the role of nitric oxide as a signaling molecule in the cardiovascular system. His presence here will add a, a tremendous depth to the university uh, and I think is reflective of this, this amazing time that all of us who are fortunate enough to be part of this community uh, get to experience. Having Dr. Murad join us in the role of a university professor is an honor that elevates both the stature of his department and the prestige of the entire university. Dr. Murad will teach an undergraduate course, he'll mentor graduate and medical students, and conduct research. The announcement that a recipient of the Nobel Prize in Medicine is joining G the GW faculty as a university professor and a full professor in the Department of Biochemistry and Molecular Biology immediately catalyzes and elevates the GW Medical Center's strategic efforts in advancing scientific discovery, educating the next generation of physicians and scientists, and improving the health and lives of the people that we treat. At GW, Dr. Murad will focus his academic energies on embryonic stem cells, the aggressive brain cancer glioblastoma, and the treatment of diarrhea in developing countries, a disease that kills more than two million children every year. I have no doubt that his presence on our campus will not only dramatically enhance GW's reputation as a rising research university, but I have every confidence that Dr. Murad will also influence our academic culture, as well as the young minds of our students in many disciplines for years to come. Research is fun. It's important to answer uh, important questions. Uh, and I try to address questions that have a lot of relevance to clinical medicine. And I take high risk in research. I think that's what it's all about. You do something that's never been done before. That's research. My mentor as a MD, PhD student was Earl Sutherland and Ted Rawl. They were a team in 1971. Earl Sutherland got the Nobel Prize. And what is interesting is the pedigree that is created Earl Sutherland's mentor, Carl Corey at Washington University, also had the Nobel Prize, as did his wife, Goethe Corey. I've trained almost 150 people in my laboratory over the years, students, fellows, house officers, whatever, to come work in my laboratory. And I tell them that one of them has to get the prize <laughs> because I don't want this lineage and genetic communication uh, disrupted in any way. So it's not happened yet, I hope it will. But one of my goals is to identify that next generation here at George Washington. So I want all your best students to come knocking at my door so I, I can get involved with them and help them. But I really look forward to being here. This is the first time I will be on a complete campus with undergraduate students and chemists and engineers and medical folks all in the same place since I left Stanford 22 years ago. And that was a lot of fun at Stanford to associate with all these bright, talented people. And I really look forward to doing the same thing here. Thank you for having me.